A package containing a journey cassette tape causes an evacuation at a building in Charlotte. Uh, cops stopped believing it was a bomb after they examined it closely. Oh, funny, funny writer in this article. The cops stopped believing. I guess they thought it was a bomb originally. It was a suspicious package in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it turned out to be a cassette tape of the rock band Journey. Amazing. People were asked to evacuate the Duke Energy Building in the uptown area of the North Carolina city on Tuesday over concerns that this package might be dangerous, police confirmed. Uh, officials were called to the scene early in the morning and they were, uh, I, mean, I mean, helicopters abound. I'm so tired of this. Um, officials were called on the scene after, and after running a diagnostic test on this unknown package, they determined it was only a cassette tape by the popular 80s band, Journey. Uh, it says it, the cassette tape was inside the package, so it wasn't like they saw the cassette and were like, what is this? They, there was a package and inside was the cassette tape, but they weren't sure. It was not any explosive or anything like that, says Lieutenant Brad Koch uh, at a press conference. He said the police determined after a while that the package wasn't a threat at all, unless Unless you hate 80s music, and then of course it is a threat. Unless you can't stand Steve Perry, then of course it's a big threat. Although who wouldn't want Steve Perry? Who doesn't like Journey? I mean, come on, get a grip. In addition to the building being evacuated, the streets near the scene were briefly closed. The building and the streets have both been reopened. It was a small envelope mailed from out of state, he said. Koch, the lieutenant, Lieutenant Koch. Handwriting on it was suspicious. <laughs> was it? What did it say? <laughs> <sighs> and due to all the recent national events, out of an abundance of caution, their mailroom alerted our central division officers who responded to the scene. Yeah, because, I mean, there's been bombs being delivered, threats of bombs being delivered, obviously, that um, the situation that we had last week. So, obviously, uh, everybody's on edge about packages uh, that, may, that may arrive that have suspicious writing on them. I wish it said what the writing, what it, what it said on the writing. Uh, maybe it said, you can open this faithfully. Uh, <laughs> hey now, come on. Uh, the scare in Charlotte comes shortly after packages containing explosive devices were mailed to prominent public figures, including Obama and Clinton, as well as CNN offices in New York City. Uh, yes, right, I alluded to that earlier, and that's why. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, I would love to receive a Journey tape in the mail. I have no way of playing it, but I would just like it. I would like to have a journey tape. Um, I do recall, as a child, my mother had a collection of cassette tapes, among which was Journey. Journey, the tape, I'll never forget it, because I love the picture of it. It had a UFO on it, I think. It was called Frontiers, or something like that. And I remember the UFO, I mean, being, I remember, remember being fascinated by that photo of the UFO on there. And like, little did I know, Journey was so good. Unbelievable. And now, it's one of my favorite uh, go-to bands at karaoke. Now, I just, you should know, I don't sing, don't, I, I will not sing Don't Stop Believing at Karaoke. I'm tired of that song. It's overplayed. It's oversang. I'm over it. Here's what I like. I like Faithfully. I think that's a, be that's a great song. It's a nice ballad. But I also like um, Separate Ways. Yeah, a little harder. Yeah, Someday. You know, that's a good one, too. Um, yeah. I also like the song. Here's a song. Here's an unknown, a semi-unknown Journey song. Very underrated. Awesome song. It's called Lights. When the lights go down in the city. Oh, do, your, do yourself a favor. Listen to that today. Have a glass of wine. And just, uh, you know, feel good inside. <laughs> I love the idea of a, a journey cassette tape causing an evacuation. I wonder if the band knows about it and if they've made a statement on this. Like, we realize our music has fallen out of favor, it's a little old, but we didn't realize it would evacuate an entire building and we're, we apologize for that. We're going to work on some new material and uh, <laughs> something that the millennials can enjoy. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty weird uh, item to evacuate a building over. I wonder, um, I wonder whose tape it was. What a strange, funny thing to send in the mail, too. A Journey cassette tape. I gotta tell you, if, if a Journey cassette tape arrived at my apartment, I'd be so excited. I really would. It's like a time capsule coming right to you. Right? <laughs>
What's your favorite Journey song? Hit me up. It better not be Don't Stop Believing. I'm over that song. You already know that. Come on, get creative. I want to hear uh, that you like uh, Touching, Love, and Squeezing. Is that one? Uh, oh, I also that, like that one. Um, oh, shoot. What's that one that starts off with the piano? He walks up. I need a love that grows. When it's passing on, we'll be there. Ready? Here it is. Foolish heart, hear me call and stop before you start calling. Foolish heart, heed my warning. You been wrong before. Don't be wrong anymore. Oh my God. Foolish heart. I forgot about that one. We never hear that one at karaoke. Oh, man, I'm putting that on my karaoke to-do list. And if you're in New York City over the next two weeks, I'm going to be there doing shows and singing karaoke every damn night because that's how Jonesy does it in Manhattan.